Good morning, my friend. How are you? Good, I hope. Another weekend has passed. I hope you got plenty of rest and relaxation. And the good news is it is Monday for my friends in the United States, <clears throat> a short week. A short week and a time in our year where we focus in and acknowledge thanks, gratitude. Really, gratitude is so important. We have so much to be grateful for. We have family. We have friends. We have good colleagues or coworkers. We have neighbors. We have a place where we can keep our head dry and food in our stomach and clothes on our backs. So many different things that we can be grateful for. Being able to catch a beautiful sunrise or sunset. Appreciating color. Music is on my gratitude list. Speaking of gratitude lists, you know, this is also a time of year where the days are shorter and the nights are longer. And, well, it's not uncommon for us to feel at times depressed or anxiety or lonely. And it goes, you know, up and down. We've got these peaks and these valleys, right? And if we have a gratitude list where you can list all the different people in your life whom you love and cherish, and they love and cherish you, even if you haven't been in communication with them, when you get into this valley, just as soon as you start feeling that depression or anxiety make its way in, Grab a gratitude list. Read all the different things that you're grateful for. Call someone if you have people on that list. I have people on mine. And what it does is it shallows out that valley. And you can make it through the holiday season feeling good. Because it's so important for us to feel good. If we're going to treat other people good then we have to hold that ability for good in ourselves. And that is a great medication, the best medication perhaps for depression is to, and this is your assignment for the week. If you don't have one, I want you to take out a piece of paper and I want you to start writing down the things that you're grateful for, that you have in your life. And some of us who've experienced having almost nothing and getting back into a abundance mentality. We appreciate those things on our list all the more. All the more. Don't go into scarcity. Create that gratitude list and add to it. I still add to it on mine. Mine's on the refrigerator over there. Keep it in your wallet or keep it with you or keep it visible so that you see it all the time and you can maintain that level of happiness, gratefulness. They're almost indistinguishable. And I also have on my list, you. I am so grateful and appreciative of your taking the time out of your busy day and stopping by and having a cup of Joe with me that you're on my grateful gratitude list because I'm grateful for you. And I pray and hope that this week is an awesome week for you and an opportunity to connect with all the things on your gratitude list. And that being said, I will see you next Monday, Wednesday. We will not be having a Monday morning cup of joe due to the holiday. But I will see you Monday with some great new insights into how to make your life better. And until then, be grateful, my friend. Mm -hmm.